In this lecture, we are going to have a look at the first of the components that make up our Arduino remote control car, which is the joystick. In the next few lectures in the same section, I'll show you how to use the motor with its motor driver, the infrared sensor, the ultrasonic sensor, the Bluetooth HC06 module, and the ESP01 as Wi-Fi module. But before we begin, just wanted to point out a couple of things. The first thing is that in this lecture and some of the lectures that follow up, I'm borrowing content from one or more of my other Arduino courses. In this particular case, for the joystick, I'm borrowing content from Arduino step-by-step -step getting serious. Towards the end of this course, I've got a section dedicated to joystick with a couple of examples. In this lecture, I'm going to borrow from the first of these examples, which is just a simple application of the joystick. I'll show you how to wire up the joystick to your Arduino and then how to utilize a simple sketch to extract data from the joystick. The second thing to notice is that in this example, just like in some of the examples that are coming up in following lectures for the other bits of hardware that we'll be using, I'm using specific pins to connect the particular component, in this case, the joystick to the Arduino. It is not necessary to use the same pins later on in the course when we integrate all of the components into a single system. In this sketch, for example, I'm using pins A0, A1, and A2 for the X, Y pins and the button pin. In fact, in the actual system later on, when we integrate the components together on the chassis to create an Arduino remote controlled car, I may choose to use other pins because there may be conflicts with other components. So keep that in mind. We start simple with the most simple possible configuration in order to learn how to use a particular component. And then we'll use that knowledge and adapt it to make it work once our circuits start to become a little bit more complicated. If you have enrolled to Arduino step-by-step -step getting serious, then you can have a look at the joystick example that I'm about to show you here in section 44. If you haven't uh, joined us in Arduino step-by-step -step getting serious, you can still get the schematic and the sketch that I'm going to demonstrate by going to the GitHub repository for this course, which is free for everyone to visit and uh, you can copy the sketches, no problem at all. So having said all that, the first thing that I'm going to do is to copy the sketch from the repository into my Arduino IDE and do that, I'm going to go to the raw view, then select all, copy and paste this content in here and I'll save it on my computer. All right, done with this bit. So let's continue now. I'm gonna go over to my bench, do the wiring and then upload the sketch and see what the output is from the joystick onto the serial monitor. So let's go ahead and do the wiring now. Here's the joystick. It looks like that. Uh, it's got the joystick up the top, which also contains a button, so you can push it down and that engages a button. You've got ground and the five volt positive for power. Then there's the X dimension and the Y dimension pins. And finally, the last pin, SW, identifies uh, button press or we can use it to identify a button press. So I'm going to keep the cap off for the time being so that it's easier to access the pins and uh, you can see them easier through the camera. And I'm going to use this schematic diagram from Arduino Step by Step Getting Serious. This is lecture 635 in that course. So the way that we are going to do the connections is that GND is going to go to GND on the Arduino. Five volts positive will go to five volts. VRX will go to analog pin zero. VRY to analog pin one. And we'll identify the button presses via analog pin two, even though we'll be using this as a digital pin on and off. All right. So.
connections are done, let's go and upload the sketch. Now let's turn our attention to the sketch. So in the beginning of this lecture, I copied the sketch from the Arduino step-by-step -step getting serious GitHub repository. And I haven't made any changes to the sketch, but I am about to make one small change. You can see here in line 49, I've got the LED pin set to seven so that when we press the button that's part of the joystick, uh, the LED on pin seven will light up. Uh, but because in this example in the circuit, I haven't connected an external LED onto pin seven, I prefer to just use the built-in LED on pin 13 to demonstrate the button presses. And that way we'll be able to also keep the circuit a little bit simpler. Apart from that, this sketch is very simple. We set up the various pins up at the header. We have integer variables for the values that are produced by the joystick, X, Y, and the button. In the setup method, you can see that in the first couple of lines, I turn on the pull-up resistor for the button pin. So again, that simplifies the circuit. So I don't have to connect an external pull-up resistor for the button. This saves us with a couple of jumper wires and a resistor. And also uh, switch the LED pin to an output. And serial begin in line 59. Now in the loop, we use analog read to take readings from the X and Y pins and digital read to show us the state or to read the state of the button, whether it's pressed or not. And then we use a bunch of serial prints to show us those values on the serial monitor. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, upload this sketch. And I've already selected the correct board and port. And the sketch is now uploaded. So let's turn on the serial monitor. And you can see the values are already coming up. So the joystick is right in the middle of its X and Y range and the button is depressed. And these are the values that you see at that state of the joystick. So I'm going to push now the joystick up, at least in my perspective, as I'm looking at it. And you can see that now the X value is maxed out to 1023. I'm going to push it all the way down. And so y becomes zero. So there's x 1023, y zero. I'm going to do the same for the x now. So all the way to the left, y is 1023, and all the way to the right, y uh, x is x is zero. So all the other in between values, of course, are possible. All right, what about the button? So I'm gonna press down on the joystick and you can see that button is zero, depressed button is one, zero and one. And the LED also turns on when the joystick button is pressed and off when it's depressed. Okay, there you go. So this is a pretty simple to use analog sensor essentially. It's a, a simple sensor, it measures position in the two axes, and it gives us a button. All right, let's continue in the next lecture, where I'll show you how to use a DC motor with its L293 motor driver. Mm -hmm.